Hello everybody, Dokanassets here. Today we are back with a very special Dokkan battle video. Today we are going to be taking a look at the top 5 best SAs of this year. Oh my gosh. Dokkan battle has had a fan fantastic year in terms of the animation department i literally cannot believe how far we've come even just from the tail end of 2019's essays with the majin vegeta and the super saiyan 3 goku till now the increase in quality is insane even in some of the more minor cards that aren't necessarily the big headliners the essays are still really really nice so I am really, really excited to get into this. We have quite a bit to talk about today. Oh, I, I, I'm so excited, bro. Before we get into it, though, we are going to go over the rules. The rules are basically the same as they were on the worst essays video. By the way, if you have not checked that out, definitely do so. Um, but I'm just going to go over them again real quick, just so we have everything set in stone. For one, we are only going over Dokkan Fest, Dokkan Fest LR, and unfeatured LR animations. I feel like it's not fair to compare animations of either free-to-play cards or random boss cards or SSRs, you know, stuff like that to some of these big boy cards. I think that they all kind of have their own tier of animations, and that's what we're going to stick to, baby. So, besides that... We'll be covering all types of Dokkan animations in these videos, essays, unit supers, active skills, transformations, so on and so forth. We probably could make a video for literally every single type of animation, essay, transformation, all that good stuff, but that would be like four videos for best and worst, and A, that is a lot of content, B, I feel like it is kind of unnecessary because I can all just kind of talk about it in one video here, um, and I mean, some of the animations I feel like, you know, are kind of comparable, but nonetheless, all that's going to be in this one video. Every card gets one slot, so no card can have two slots on the top five list. You know, if we have Beerus in there, he can't be five and he can't be two as well. I'll just kind of be talking about their animations overall and then focusing in on the specific animation that I want to discuss. We are also only going to be going over cards from the year 2020 on JP. Just to make things simple, obviously, since all these essays were produced and released in 2020, 2020 on JP makes sense to only do ones that were in 2020 on JP and of course you know we're not counting any technicalities of like things that came before the anniversary but were still technically in 2020 you know it came or well you sorry they came before um let me think about this like we're not talking like just the fifth year of Dokkan battle it had to be released in 2020 the other thing that I want to preface this with is that this is all just my opinion Keep in mind, and my opinion is also probably from a very different viewpoint than literally everybody else's opinion because I'm always, you know, taking a look at the essay assets. I'm always hyper analyzing the essays to see like, okay, you know, oh, that's just a moving PNG or like that's a couple of images moving in tandem or whatever the case may be. You know, I'm very hyper analytical about it and tend to be kind of critical, I think. Uh, Regardless, though, my opinion is obviously, you know, the, the main focus of what I'm trying to say here. And besides all that, I genuinely do think that every single one of the animations that we've gotten this year for Dokkan Battle are actually really good. I know we don't need to say that as much in this video. Obviously, that's more of a thing for the worst video. But nonetheless, I still want to point it out because I genuinely think that... You know, I don't really think there's any essays that I dislike, and I think I like them all. There's just ones that I certainly like more than other ones. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Before we get into our uh, main five here, I do want to give us some honorable mentions. Now, as I mentioned in the worst essays video, this was actually really difficult uh, for some of them. To figure out what I wanted to include because Dokkan had so many great essays this year. If I went through and kind of dissected all of the ones that I have for the honorable mentions, this video would literally be double the time. So I'm just going to do a quick lightning round 
of all of the animations that are in the honorable mentions. Ready? <gasps> STR Kefla, Fizz Beerus, Int SSJ, Gotenks Transformation, and SA, Fizz Blue Boys 18 Key SA, Tech Exchange Evil Boo SA, LR STR SV 18K, Transforming Golden Frieza Active Skill. <gasps> oh. <laughs> we got them all out, baby. Yes, all of them that are on the screen, as you can see, are all fantastic essays. Those are just some. And Dokkan, like I said, has been doing just so much great in terms of the animation department. The other one that I wanted to highlight, though, in the honorable mentions is actually PyCon's essay. Now, I didn't want to necessarily highlight PyCon's essay for the animations. In terms of animations, I do think that it is pretty average. It's definitely not bad. There are some great parts about it that I really, really like. But obviously, this is another what if super attack. And so far, granted, we've only really had like two, that being the other one, Vegeta. But I think that this is a super cool direction that Dokkan could go in, and I really want to see what they could do with some more what-if super attacks. So I am very excited to see what the future holds for that, but I just wanted to give PyCon his own little special shout-out. Now, let's get on to the animations here. Kicking off this list at number 5, we have AGL Bardox Transformed SA. Now, I know this one might be a little bit of a weird pick, because I know some people might think, Hey bro, there are some essays better than this. I was very, very conflicted for this slot. There were so many essays I could have put here. Fizz Beerus, his essay, I love the way that they did the lens flares. I love the way that they did a lot of Gotenks' animations and mimicking the style of the actual anime and the way that the effects looked, but... I couldn't not put Bardock at number 5 for a couple of reasons. One, AGL Bardock Super Attack is a super attack that I have been looking forward to in Dokkan for a really long time. It is probably the one super attack that I wanted to be added into Dokkan in 2020, and I got my wish. I was very, very excited when they announced the boy. Literally could not have been happier because, oh... I love Bardock, I don't know what it is about him, but he's one of my favorite Dragon Ball characters, and seeing him get some love with the essay was so nice. Now, what I like about this essay is that it is crazy, for one, obviously the scene where he's knocking chilled around when he first goes Super Saiyan is incredibly enjoyable to watch because it is literally Bardock just absolutely decimating this man. Super dynamic, lots of movement, lots of great shots, even some funny stuff to be honest like when he's spinning chilled around. It's pretty fun to look at if I do say so myself. What I love about this essay specifically though is that they did a lot of things to kind of give the illusion of a little bit more detailed movement. Not to say that there isn't detailed movement in this, especially towards the end where Bardock first forms the key sphere, and then when he's throwing it, there are a lot of individual moving parts to the essay, which shows that, you know, again, this is definitely an essay from this year where even smaller details that before would have probably just been one PNG are multiple pieces now. But what I love about giving the illusion of a little bit more movement is the part where Bardock is flying around, they use the assets in a way that makes it look like he's almost moving than he actually is. Like when he's spinning, that's really only three assets in motion there. And that's so impressive to me that they can look like, that they can make it look like that he's getting that full spin on. The scene where he's actually spinning chilled around looks super fluid and it kind of fits the way that it, you know, originally intended to look where it's like, you know, speeding up and whatnot. It looks absolutely fantastic. I am so happy with how this essay turned out. And me gushing about this should tell you how good the ones coming up are going to be. Because, oh baby, I love this essay a lot. And I think that it only gets better from here. Moving on to number four, we have Int Super Saiyan for Gogeta. This man had some absolutely fantastic animations. 
from his counter to his active skill to his essay there is so much great stuff here lots of minimal movement in certain scenes expressions look great oh man this guy is a very solid essay but my favorite part is the actual essay itself when he you know well in this scene at least is giving omega the beatdown. the stylization of this is perfect it really really looks like it's right out of gt there's some great scenes that they do with Gogeta punching and kicking. There are some great parts of this as well, where they have some fantastic dynamic camera angles. They have a scene where it zooms out before it zooms back in when Gogeta is forming the key blast in front of him. Really great way to make the essay look and feel even more dynamic. And on the topic of that key blast, they do a great job with making that key blast look so good. The way that the key flows from the center of the ball and the way that they have the little ripples go out from the side of the blast looks so good. Not to mention the actual key blast that flies off after it's fired away from the key ball in front of Gogeta looks very very nice and super super fluid and the fact that they took this from the animations of a game that was on like you know ps2 ps3 era type of graphics is so cool to see it almost revitalized and updated very very cool stuff here and I love what they did with the boy Gogeta Number three was probably the biggest surprise of the year for me in terms of a brand new release card and how much I enjoyed the new release card and its essays. That's right, it is Turles. This man has some fantastic animations. I cannot believe that they did Turles this good. I don't think we'll literally ever need another Turles card as long as this game exists. I know they'll probably make one, but man, this SA is so good. I especially love the 18 key super attack. There's a lot of great minimal movement on Turles's minions, and Turles himself also has a lot of fantastic movement in this animation as well. My favorite part though, funny enough, doesn't actually have to do with the characters themselves. I absolutely love, love, love the way that they animated the key blasts in this essay. Oh my gosh. When I saw that, I literally was like, bro, no way. That's a clip from the movie. That is actually crazy. The way that the key blasts move coming out of Turles' hand and the effects that they take on when they're blasting Goku, and then when you see them from that far away angle where they almost just look like the white lines flying towards the planet, the way that they just move so gingerly and the way that they kind of wiggle a little bit just looks so good. And it's so close to the movie as well. And overall, too, the whole style of the essay just mimics the movie's aesthetic so well. It looks really, really nice. I, I still can't believe that Turles, out of all characters, got an essay this good. It is... Wow! <laughs> so good, baby. So good. The only complaint that I have with this essay, and probably why it's not higher on the list, and I know, again, that this is a nitpick because, realistically, there ain't much wrong with any of the essays on this list. Realistically, is probably just the small error that they made with Turles's signature attack, where originally when he was forming it, it turns into a cube. This is not how it was in the original anime, and normally, I don't really mind if it isn't completely animation accurate, but it's kind of a problem when it's not even accurate to the character, you know what I mean? It's not a Dokkan original, it's just a Dokkan mistake. Why they decided to make it a square, I don't know. Maybe one of the devs forgot that it wasn't a square when it forms, and they just thought that because of the way that Turles makes his hands, it's not, but it is a ball in the original animation, so... I don't know. Very, very odd, all things considered. But nonetheless, Turles' animation is absolutely fantastic. I am such a big fan of those key blasts. They could literally not be more perfect. I am going to wait until that there is an essay that can blow me away more with their key. Because even though there are two more animations 
above this one in my opinion i still don't think any of them beat that little specific section of the key blast for me personally Moving on to the number two slot. There is only one character that it could be, baby. There's only one character that it could have been, baby. And that is the boy Gogeta. Oh my gosh. When I first saw these essays, I was blown away. I don't think I've ever been more hyped to see an essay than this moment. Because these essays for Gogeta set a precedent as to what was to come in terms of Dokkan animation for 2020 and for the future of this game. The way that Gogeta moves is so clean. It is the cleanest that I, we had ever seen up until this point and still a contender for the cleanest animations. The way that the key flows, the way that the explosions come off of the characters, it just looks so, so good. Even the parts where they blur some of the animation is absolutely fantastic. But my favorite has to be the 18 key super attack. When people saw this, and when I saw this, I was absolutely blown away. I could not believe my eyes taking a look at this super attack the first time. It is crazy how much the animation style looks like the movie. I could not believe it. The first, like, I genuinely could not believe that this is from Dokkan. I remember some of the homies tweeting about how they were like, Oh, this is just a clip from the movie. And I, I was almost convinced. I, I could not believe it. I could not believe that these were the animations running in Dokkan Battle. Absolutely insane. The quality still stands up to this day, hence why he is still at number two, even here, all the way at the end of the year. Oh, I, I could gush about Gogeta for so long. It's just so fun to look at. Every time I have this guy on my team, even if I'm doing something else when I watch, you know, when or when I'm playing Dokkan, rather, I'll take a peek and watch Gogeta's essays every time for sure because there is just no denying that they are so, so good. And I really, really hope that the quality of the anniversary essays transfer over to six years LRs because if they're as good as this, oh man, we are in for a treat. And coming in at number one, LR STR UI Omen Goku. This card's animations absolutely blew me away the first time that I saw them. I could not believe that they did an unfeatured unit this good. This guy, I feel like, is probably the unit in my head. If I ever told you, you know, if someone came up to me and was like, hey, What's the best essay in Dokkan right now? I would probably say it's UI Goku. Gogeta is so, so close in my mind, but there is just something that it just, oh, it's so good. <laughs> I can't even properly put it into words because of how absolutely amazing the essays are for this guy. Of course, specifically in this case, we are more so focusing on the 18 key, but all of the animations for this guy are so, so impressive. The, the way that they were able to capture the style of the Tournament of Power is astounding. The way that the explosions look, the way that the dust looks, the way that the rocks flying look, it is absolutely perfect. Even the key blast, even the way that the key forms looks so good. You can't deny that the shot looking at Goku's eye is so unique. It's so great. Obviously, it takes it right from the anime there. The blast at the end looks absolutely fantastic as well. And the way that they were able to get around the fact that Goku was sliding on the Kamehameha was genius by having him slide on a rock instead. So they could literally just put any enemy sprite as the enemy for what Goku was firing the Key Blast at. Because obviously not every enemy is going to be firing the Candy Cane Beam at our man Goku here. Is so, so smart. 
for the way that Dokkan does essays, allowing any unit to be kind of the adversary at the end of these essays. And of course, I could not go without mentioning the aura. The aura is so impressive. The fact that they were not only able to do all of these clean, fluid animations, capturing the key blast, the rocks, even slow-mo at some points where there are some, but the fact that they were able to capture the aura perfectly blows me away every single time I watch it. I cannot believe that this is made of PNGs. The aura is so good. It is literally the perfect UI Omen Goku aura. It is all oh, so good. And this man, in my mind, easily takes the number one slot. And that's it. That is my top five essays and animations of 2024 Dokkan Battle. This year has been such a fantastic year for Dokkan. We have had so many animations that I absolutely love. Like I said, I don't even think that I could tell you that any of the featured, you know, LRs, Dokkan Fest, unfeatured LRs, all that kind of stuff had any bad animations this year. And the ones that absolutely decimated the game, decimated the game so hard, bro. It is absolutely insane the kinds of things that Dokkan is doing out here. I am so, so excited to see what 2021 holds for Dokkan. I cannot wait to see them take these animations even further. And if the hype of the six year anniversary is anything to go by, those animations are going to be so, so nice. Please let me know in the comments section below what your thoughts are on your top five essays. If you agree with some of my picks, if you don't as well, I also have a Patreon. If you would like to support me, I do all different kinds of Dokkan content. I do Dragon Ball figures. If you'd like to go that extra mile and give your boy a little bit of love, I would greatly appreciate it. But please, please, please do not feel pressured to do so. I understand that everybody needs a little bit of extra dough in their pocket in these times. But... I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I will definitely be making these going forward in the next coming years. As well, I wanted to give a special shout out to Jihad, DBZ World, and DBZ Monkey for the essays and for the comparison videos. They were a great help in not only making researching this video a little bit easier, but also just making the presentation of this video a little bit easier. With that though, I want to thank you all so much for watching. Here's to a fantastic 2021. Hope you guys have a very happy new year and I will see you in the next one. Tokanasets out. Peace.